Hello all, Havoc here. So in our last video we were getting this all welded up and I went down and collect a bunch of resources and now it's doing its thing. So uh, yeah, so now we're going to go up and it this thing's out of power. That's what the deal is. You'll hear that turn off, then you hear it say everything's turning on and off based on power. We don't have any power right now, so yeah. Why don't we go ahead and drop this guy? That's what we'll do. We're, we're talking about doing it in this episode, so let's go ahead and do that. So what I'm going to do is, I, since I forgot to turn auto save off, I'm going to save real quick. We're going to come back right and come back in, and uh, we're going to watch this bomb drop. So uh, hold tight, and we will see you on the other side of the cut. Okay, so we're back, and again, I don't know what's what up with all the shenanigans but everything i just did i saved when i exit is all gone so all my resources are gone the windows are no longer welded uh, so i'm also going to apply for the lack of osiris video for tonight because my laptop decided that um, i didn't need that footage and yeah so that happened sad panda so that's a half hour of gameplay gone so all right. So what we're going to do is, um, since that thing's tweaking out, I don't know what we're going to do. So autosave is turned off. Um, so yeah, I guess we just cut this thing loose and let her rip. My fiance is fond of saying, uh, let her rip, tater chip. All right, so what we're going to do is... Uh, we're going to do exactly that, and then we're going to try to get ahead of it. So it shouldn't be too hard to do that, so. Inertial dampeners are off. All right, we're way ahead of it now. Oh, it looks like it's catching up to us. Doesn't it? Yeah, I think it is. So we're going to speed up. Because we want to get there before it. It looks cool as it's sliding down. <laughs> yeah, we want to get down there so we can uh, stop and enjoy the view. And break. Oh, please break in time. No! Wow, did we bounce. That was almost impressive. And we missed a destruction. Oh my goodness. Medical room, medical room, medical room. Respawn. Oh, it's not done. Oh, the lag. Oh, wow. Um, I'm getting like 3 FPS right now. Oh crap, the tower's coming down. Okay, so... <laughs> the tower literally, it looks like it just sat back down. Or did I anchor it in good enough? We're getting horrible FPS right now. We're maybe like 10 or 15 FPS. No, it does not look like it's connected. Yeah, it is literally just sitting. Oh, so what's that falling? Oh, it's her body. <laughs> we bounced that high. Holy crap, ragdoll physics to the extreme. Oh, there's our there's our, our, our grinder. We need that. Let's go get that. Ugh. That was nuts. That was crazy. And the fact our tower is kind of just chilling right there is pretty funny too. And our body filled up. Oh man, the, the the lag is it's really bad. I mean, it is really really bad. Um, <laughs> where did our body go? 
I thought it fell down here. Oh man, the lag is horrible. It's like turning a direction is just like, nope. Uh, so yeah, what I was saying about the Osiris video, I do apologize. My laptop just was like, yeah, no, we're not going to record that. That's not, that's not relevant right now. So, um, I'm going to try to get a video up for you guys tomorrow to, uh, recover some of the 30 minutes of lost playtime that we have. So look for that tomorrow. I do apologize about that guys. Where did the rest of our body go? Um, let's see. Body location. Where are you? It is in the ground. 200 meters that way. Okay, so we're never getting that stuff back. Alright, so since we're being catastrophically just irresponsible and we don't have saving turned on, we're just going to go ahead and um, <laughs> do what we're not supposed to. So yeah, see that's definitely not connected to anything. And lag in three, two, one. Our jetpack just died, so we're falling. Oh, we're falling I just realized we're falling into a crater from the first impact. It's literally pile driving into the planet. Can we get out of this hole real quick? It's literally like sliding inside of it. So I was like, physics? What? Nah. That's what we're, that those those things are irrelevant. <laughs> this is what happens when a 6,000 meter high tower comes crashing down in this game. Physics get thrown right out the window. And we're probably getting like 3 FPS right now. Maybe 5. As long as we're recording at 60 FPS, I guess it all turns out the same, right? Oh wow, this is crazy. I wonder what happens when the actual completed blocks are going to get down here. They should be coming up pretty soon. Oh, it's veering off course. I didn't realize that. Oh, it's getting drastically off course now. <laughs> okay, this is crazy. I, I really did not expect it to turn out like this. I heard it was a game ending, so I guess uh, the work they're doing on the background for lag reduction and stuff like that is, is paying off because... I'm actually surprised it's handling my my laptop's handling it as, as well as it is. I guess those are a f complete blocks, so I guess that whole question about what happens when the completed armor blocks gets here, what's going to happen, kind of gets answered. Then again, we also have the actual structure coming. There's like, when we pan upward, we see uh, what looks like parts of tube come, see, they come up in the lower left-hand corner of the screen. It's kind of interesting. Looks like it's trying to tip over. So 
So the impact that that, cr that made was rather impressive through both floors and created a crater. That's pretty awesome. I'm going to uh, say that's probably because of putting that heavy armor nose tip on there. That arrowhead looking piece. I'm going to say it's a probably because of that. I was going to try to stay next to it, but I'm afraid that what it's going to end up happening is that the top of that thing is going to get down here and we'll be underneath it and we won't be able to see the damage that the top of that thing creates when it gets here. So this is all you need for a landing craft for your ship. You just need a 6,000 meter long uh, proboscis hanging off of your ship and uh, you too can land on your planet with uh, no worries. I wonder if that's our arm that's poking up when we do that or what. But uh, in any case, well, let's turn these off. There we go. A little bit cleaner view. Go it paused there when that got to the ground. Framer is dropped even further. I mean, it's super, super slow. I just realized why it's not getting faster is because the pogo's on there, and I bet you its inertial dampeners are on. It's probably actually slowing it down from accelerating even faster. That's probably what helped it on that initial break. Is uh, the pogo is docked and is actually holding on to it a little bit, but then mass just took over. The inertia should have, if Pogo wasn't up there, inertia should have brought this thing just crashing down probably a long time ago. You can see a glint of the Pogo up there. It's like five pixels right now. <laughs> we are walking so slowly. I actually wish I had my uh, system monitor turned uh, turned on right now so I could see what resources are being utilized right now, like my temperatures and uh, CPU and GPU load and all that stuff. Because I'm sure right now my CPU is just like pinned. Yeah, every iteration of this I've seen on YouTube where they do this, it literally crashes their system and uh, corrupts the map. But we have a backup, so we're good. We have a backup with autosave turned off on this map. So, so here we are. We're coming up on 13 minutes into the video. And, um, wow. Actually, what I want to do, oh, we don't have jetpack. I want to say I want to fly up there and, uh, disconnect Pogo, but, um, we can't fly. Wow, graphics are just, <laughs> frame rate I should say, is just derped. It just stopped. That's not the button I meant to hit, neither is that. Uh, there's a button over here, I'm not sure which one it is. Okay, and we're back. Somewhere along the lines, our uh, software stopped recording. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're at zero FPS. Um, 
it appears that um, when the block, what I was actually concerned about is commenting about is the completed blocks got to the surface. You can see there's a whoa, zero FPS. It's hard to aim. Sorry guys. I'm gonna try to look at the tower again. We're using a hundred percent of my GPU memory. This is a four gig memory card or video card, and we're using three point nine gig, three point nine 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 right there. And we're using almost all of the physical memory on the on the laptop as well. I mean, this is an i seven, so I mean, it's not like this is a full on gaming laptop. I have a nine seventy graphics card. So yeah, this is, it's no slash of a laptop considering I know I've seen videos of people doing this with their desktops and tanking. So, but uh, yeah, you can see the green stripe, the completed blocks hit the surface and our frame rate dropped to like nothing. Right now we're getting one frame a second. And you can see that where it says UP or it says UPS FPS in the middle left side. It says one slash thirty thirty one. It's trying to produce thirty FPS, failing and only actually giving us one FPS. So I'm waiting for a massive crater to appear or the entire structure to just vanish. So. <laughs> I think one of those two things was probably about to happen. And graphics memory is reducing. We're down to just over three gig. I wonder if I can do a save as. Let's see if we can do this. And maybe do a reload. trying to get to no video card memories back oh there we go all right so hold on save as tower derp whoa should have left it that way huh derp okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to exit back to the main menu Save changes, nah, no reason. Because we just did. Load world. Tower dirt, load. All right, see you on the other side of the cut. All right, we're back. It's about ready to load. So uh, here we go. We'll see how this turns out, shall we? <laughs> Any second now. Wait for it. Oh wow, it's really thinking hard. It actually had responded that it was going to load, and then next thing I know, it's um, well loading again. I have a feeling we're gonna be at the uh, the spawn screen here. We're gonna be picking our spawn point. Oh, come on. Really now? Oh, ugh. every time those wheels stop spinning like that, I, I think that, ugh, I think that's the time it's going to load. And that's the puppy was sneezing. Um, oh, come on. I don't want to cut away and have it load while you guys are, or while it's, so I'm going to try to edit some of this out. Okay, so we're going to have to wrap up the episode here. Um, we've gone on for an additional three minutes of waiting for it to load. And I've never taken this long to load the game with, like, 
you know, a hundred something mods hasn't taken this long to load. And yeah, we're sitting at 44 mods. So <laughs> yeah, I, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that the saved game is now corrupt. Um, if you guys liked the episode, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. If you guys want to see it again, uh, but maybe like we disconnect Pogo and all that fun stuff and I don't crash and burn to the service like I did and bounce, um, leave a comment below. Uh, tell me what you guys want to see this again and uh, we'll go ahead and do that again. Look for an Osiris video tomorrow to make up for the lack of one today. So thanks so much for watching everybody. This is Havoc. Have fun and keep gaming.